After a deadly weekend on Heartland Highway, 6 News is tracking the cleanup from our winter storm. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiotto, happening locally live at 5. As many begin their commute home tonight, they're hoping those roads will be a bit better than this morning. Erin Murray spent the day not on the main roads, but on those secondary and rural roads. She continues our coverage 6 New Line. That's right, guys. It's out here that seems to be a big problem, as you can see. I kind of got snow almost up to my knees on these rural roads. But after a day of plows coming through, they really aren't too, too bad. A day after a snowy weekend, roads are still difficult to travel. Plows have mostly taken care of the main roads, but unfortunately... Secondaries aren't good. Mike Perkins tells us the rural roads are the worst. The rural conditions out here in Saunders County on Highway 92 is kind of bad. But once you get past the line into Douglas County, they were, they were a little bit better. Mary Lou Finn drove out quite a ways to get to Jerry's Cafe in Utan. We usually come to Gravel Road from Lashura, but today with the weather, we took the long way around where we come through Valley. She didn't think, though, the roads were too bad. Well, I think it's just a matter of driving carefully and slowing down your speed. Today, maybe. But last night when the snow was coming down, that wasn't the case. Here in Louisville, five different fire departments couldn't make it up this hill. And guess what? Neither could we. We had to park about a quarter mile down and walk up the hill. This home is now a total loss. Still smoking after the fire destroyed almost all of it. The weather is definitely keeping all emergency responders busy. This Sarpy County deputy is having this SUV towed because it's too far into the road, blocking the snowplow's path. Now it's the people that are parked kind of in the ditches that should not be getting those tow notices today. If you're parked where I'm standing, where the plows need to come through, you probably will get a tow notice or even towed. Now you saw that fire we showed you in Louisville. Sadly, that was not the only one. There was another fire also in Gretna. I actually just got off the phone with the fire chief there. Now he says the good news is that no one was hurt, but also like the Louisville fire, it was a total loss. Reporting here live with Chief Photographer Mike Plews, Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News.